Hi, this is Andrew speaking, and today I'm going to give you a very, very quick update on the production line of the MIDI interfaces and MIDI boards that I'm producing. Uh, as you might have seen that before, so there are several of those designed for different MIDI purposes, MIDI routers, mergers, splitters, uh, very just a weird, weird kind of those that is a many, many ports or some specific functionality, as well as TNZ MIDI breakout boards that can allow you to use it as a MIDI interface or MIDI filter or whatever functionality you can put inside TNZ. These became very, very popular recently. Um, I'm hearing your feedback and today I'm introducing modules that I produced based on your feedback for your needs and I'm highly encouraging you to continue doing that and supplying me with your ideas what products would, you would like to see. The first product that I'm going to show is very very simple. Uh, it's mainly to support users with MIDI interfaces with TRS and DIN and switching between TRS and DIN cables. As you know there are two specifications, TRS A and TRS B. In certain cases, it can be really challenging to, to find the proper adapter because it can fit your Arturia system, but it will not fit your, I don't know, Cork or IK multimedia system, and you have to switch one to another. So this is a very small board that has a DIN on one side and TRS on another side, and it has a jumper section where you can conf configure what actual specification it is, TRS A or TRS B. Super easy to use. You can mount it between, uh, well, two acrylic uh, plates and with a standoff you can basically make it in a complete enclosure or you can drill the hole in your unit, put the DIN, mount it with attached screws or mount it from a TRS site. Whatever is easier for you. It's really, it's, a, it's just a supportive unit that is designed for the purpose of converting one to another. So you don't need to deal with the custom cables anymore. The second unit is for Eurorack format. And actually by introducing that, I'm starting to do Eurorack modules in a MIDI format. So it's only digital modules. And this one is the same as a small one. Uh, basically it's a three now DIN inputs and three TRS. And you can convert between well, TRS and DIN. And again, you can set the specification per port. That again makes it very easy to use. It's available as a kit, uh, it's available as a board only. You assemble it in less than five minutes. It's a passive, so uh, just very easy unit to interface to your existing Eurorack modules. Okay, done with that. The second one is the Eurorack version of the MIDI through interface with one input port and four output ports. Uh, very similar to the one inexpensive unit I'm producing in non Eurorack format. It's just everything packaged into Eurorack, comes with a faceplate, comes with all the boards and components. On the component side, everything is straightforward. Um, you basically, you can supply it through the Eurorack power. You can supply it through the 5 volt Eurorack power if you have the enclosure that supports 5 Eurorack or it can take the power from the 12 volts and do the power conversion on board, or even it can take the, uh, well, 5.5 millimeter standard barrel DC jack here, and that would be much easier if you don't have specific uh, Eurorack power in your system, like you're using just the Eurorack rails without any power module inside it. Uh, again, very simple module. Um, the next one is pretty much the same. Now it's all in TRS uh, specifications. So uh, this is where we uh, have one, it's again, it's a MIDI through box, uh, one input, four outputs. Uh, you can set the specification of a TRS per port. That, uh, that is the biggest advantage here. So no matter what you're using, as, as I mentioned, IK Multimedia or Arturia, Quark, other gear produced, you can set the configuration per port. That makes it much easier to interface it to another Eurorack modules that you may, you may have in your system. It's only 2 HP. It's very easy to fit. Similarly, it can take the power from a 5 volt Eurorack or it can take the power from a 12 volt Eurorack. And so, um, and you can put it directly into your Eurorack unit. Okay, that is it for today. 
Uh, I'm all ears for your feedback. Uh, tell me which models you want me to produce. If it's a Teensy Eurorack format, I can do that, that's coming. Or if it's some specific uh, application you want me to address, I'll be happy to hear you. Thanks and goodbye.